Hello, my loves. I am here with my big sis. Hello. Finally back with another video. And I am super excited because, do you want to say the title? How to be a bad bitch. There you go. A female dog. A bad female dog. Oh my <laughs> god. I want to get unmonetized. I didn't cuss. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How do you wake up a bad bitch, right? How do you become a bad bitch? So step number one is being confident. How do you gain confidence? Mm -hmm. And I would say the first step in that is I feel like believing learning. in yourself. Yeah. Believing in yourself, knowing your worth and really just showing that don't be shy right? and i feel like when you believe in yourself it all becomes real mm -hmm. it really does i feel like when i do my makeup i do my hair and i know that i'm gonna look good after i'm like you know what i'm feeling myself i feel like i could literally over, like own the whole entire world i could i'm on top of everything literally Literally. literally. So, <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, I mean, that's, I, I feel like that's the same thing I do. We're literally going off this video. We just picked the topic and we're just being super raw with you guys. We are. Um, <laughs> we're like, you know what? How to be a bad bee? Let's do it right now. Yeah. We just finished a video for her channel. Yeah. So, so we're like, what do, what do people want? Like, you guys keep asking, like, how are you guys so confident? I see all the times in her picture. Um, excuse me. Angela, it takes time. It really does take time to love yourself only because you're always going to think that someone's prettier. I mean, I see beautiful girls all the time. We see beautiful girls all the time. But just because someone else is beautiful does not mean that I'm less beautiful. Mm -hmm. you, find, you find beauty in other people in different ways. You do. And self-love, it does take time. But practice makes perfect. I mean, I started off by, I had a teacher who told me that you should write in a journal and write down, starting off with 10 things that you love about yourself. I only wrote like three things. I was like, what else am I supposed to write down? Like what? That's the thing. Yeah. I had just, I just <laughs> thought about that. Yeah. I was like, what are you supposed to write down for it's that? It's okay to love things about yourself yeah. and remind yourself. I have right there. In my kitchen, I have a board and it says smile. And I always have to remind myself to smile. That's something you shouldn't have to remind yourself to do. It should just come. Mm -hmm. So just know we all struggle with our own things. We do. Everyone does. Everyone has insecurities. Me, We get comments all day saying you guys are so confident. But it's just because we know ourselves. And being a bad bitch is really about knowing yourself. Knowing the best of you, the worst of you, and accepting all of it. And it, like I said, it does take a while to accept it, but it's like once you got it and you have that mentality of like, I'm the ish, I am great, I am beautiful, I'm smart. Mm -hmm. You begin to exude that. And Everything, and it, it comes and out. It's weird, the, the aura, the energy, it's like it attracts everyone. I'm telling you, Jasmine has this whole aura of confidence that attracts everyone. Wherever we go, everyone is just like, Psst. <laughs> like you can go in towards Jasmine because she's just so confident in who she is. Really, everything that is everything. I know you guys, in every picture you guys see of hers, you think that <laughs> that's the one, and then the next day she comes out with another one, and you're <laughs> like, What? Like, that was the one, and you just in every picture you see of her, you just feel that like big dick energy in her, <laughs> and feeling like a bad bee too. Because I don't want to cuss too much saying the B works, so I'm gonna end up saying it like 20 times, feeling up like a bad bee. I mean, it's doing little things that make you feel good about you. I mean, I feel good when I get my nails done. I feel good when I get a new wig. I feel good when I do my makeup. And I feel like my whole look, once it goes together, I am just ready to conquer. Once you're ready, you just create Everything. this whole new energy. Yeah, it does. And one thing I do want to talk to you guys about is if you decide to want to do a surgery, or if you want to do like a filler, a Botox. Oh. A lot of people think because you get surgery, that means you have no self-love. Or that. Excuse yeah. me. Really? No. You have enough I mean, love? we are enhancing our beauty. <laughs> exactly. God's gonna give me bigger boobs and you know what? I'll I know. I'll pay for them with yeah. that. We do not knock on any, you know, surgery or anything that's gonna make you feel better. It's like people that have 
Um, what are those gums that show Oh, on? the gummy smile. Yeah, they have like I mean, a gummy if smile. If you want to go you... ahead and get Botox filler to kind of bring that down, do it. So if that will make you confident and love yourself more, do it. But what I mean is like when people don't knock on that kind of stuff, like, oh, you know, she needed that. Why do you need that? That's the way you were born, right? So mm -hmm. I just want to like let you guys know that it is okay. A lot of you guys it are is. so afraid and so unsure if you should or you shouldn't because of what people are going to say and this leads me to the next key oh. of how to be a bad bitch and that means not listening to what anybody has to say about your you opinion is the only and your life because at the end of the day they're going to live their life whether you're happy or you're sad and it's weird there's people who will tell you don't do this don't do that but then they're doing it they just don't want you to do it which is really yeah. weird too or you to know yeah, I've had somebody who's done Botox and they lied. They said that they didn't do Botox and then I found out later and they're like, oh, I only did like a little bit. I'm like, but you still, you did, still it. did it. Yeah. It's fine, but just don't talk down on people who do stuff yeah. like that if you're going to do it as well. And yeah, I feel like confidence, number one, in being a bad bee, two, is just not caring what other people say. I'm telling yep. you, if I let other people's opinions affect me, I probably wouldn't be here anymore because not be happy. I get so much hate every single day. But do you think that stops me from being this bomb? No. This good. This you think energy. It stops me? Every day it grateful. Does not. <laughs> I every day grateful. Every day thankful. Every day just Pop doing in. me. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people ask me that too. Like, why, how do you like not let other people's opinions? I mean, I get called ugly every day. She's. I get called gorgeous with all the or time. without makeup, okay? But she just posted like a freaking no makeup look <laughs> with, not look, no makeup picture with just her hair. And I was just like, you just <laughs> broke the internet with just that one oh no makeup God. picture. She's so, so beautiful without makeup. Gorgeous. Too, so stop it. That's another thing. Uplifting other women. Yeah, that You're, makes you feel like a bad bee. Yeah, I feel like such a bad bee. We bitch. hype each other up all the time. Yeah. All I walk the time. down the street and I literally, I see a girl, I love her shoes, I'm like, love those boots, it love makes that jacket. Their day. Mm -hmm. I randomly yeah. do that. I'm like, oh my they god, they look shocked when they get pretty. compliments. So a lot of people are scared to say yeah. something. It's okay to compliment someone. You make them feel like a bad bee and you feel good about yourself too. Mm -hmm. Literally uplifting other women. Um, giving them the confidence that they may be unsure of like you know one day they must they, they might post something or they might wear something or they mm -hmm. might buy something that somebody told them not to buy and then they go out and wear it and, and we compliment them yeah. and then that makes their whole entire life literally and boost their confidence mm -hmm. so that's another key and the last thing is respect mm -hmm. and what we mean by respect is knowing your value knowing you know what's good for you and what is not good for you because something bad for you can totally kill that whole bad bee energy like it will mm -hmm. knock that out you'll be depressed you'll be unhappy just not feeling yourself they always all. ask how do you know when something's not good for you when you start well, feeling bad about yeah you. exactly when you start it doubting yourself and feeling bad for yourself you know that that's just the energy it's not good for you yeah. like stuff like Simple. stuff is not supposed to be complicated at all yeah. Things should be super easy. Your life should just be a breeze. And if there's people bringing you down or making you doubt yourself, you don't need that energy in your life. Nope. It's just mm -hmm. that simple, you guys. It is. That's, that's all simple. you need to do. That's really, that's, that's it. Yeah. It's super simple. It's confidence, you know, that goes with self-love and not caring what other people say mm -hmm. and having respect for yourself. Easy. Super easy. Live by and it's something to every day. practice too. Because when you start practicing those things, you start feeling confident within it. And then it just becomes natural for you. It just becomes who you are. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was short and simple like always. But I know you guys like those. Yes. So, yeah. All right. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And I will see you guys very soon. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.